Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for August 22nd to the 28th. I don't know why I said it like that. This is for Cancer Sun and Rising. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional Celtic cross spread, but I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity and to get more specific with your reading. And the reason why I do that is because I want you to feel like it's a personal reading, like we're here one on one rather than just like a general spread. Now, Cancer, this is a big week. Now, if you're a subscriber, you know that I put the key dates, astrological events, alignments, transits, whatnot, in my description. If you want to follow along, you'll see that there's a lot happening this week. But Cancer, the thing that I am going to focus on for you is all that energy in Virgo. Now we know the sun is in Virgo. We know that we have a new moon in Virgo, okay, at the end of uh, this weekend. Now, that is going to fall in your third house, okay? Third house rules a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. The main thing is communication. We're going to have to, there's going to be some focus on communicating with the others this week, but also like uh, it does rule like siblings, okay? And short distance travel, you might be traveling somewhere, you might be uh, planning a short trip, okay, maybe visiting family or something. But this is why we do tarot, to get to the bottom of it, to get a little bit more specific, all right? Uh, we know that there's a lot of activity going on in your career too, Cancer, because Jupiter and Aries is in your 10th house. But before I get carried away, because I talk way too much let's go ahead and get started with your reading i've given this a really good shuffle i'm just gonna give it one more one uh thing of do 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 and then here we go cancer i'm excited let's do it this is for cancer sun and rising now listen like i said i do a traditional celtic cross spread it is what my clients prefer if you do want to get a private reading you know where to find me secondly cancer uh, if you're new to my channel, it would be so great if you like and subscribe. I would, it really just helped my channel grow. I'm not even joking. And uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are a subscriber, you know I love you. Thank you so much. You know how much it means to me that you're here with me every week. You make my day. Now, listen, uh, Cancer, Sun, and Rising. And I do hope you are reading, reading your Rising too. Listen, I'm not asking you to read like uh go to see your um your moon and your uh venus and all that just read your rising okay you uh the analogy i make astrology is like um like a jelly donut okay the sun is a jelly a rising sign is the dough okay the two don't go without the other you only get half the picture when you only read your sun sign and so when i do actually do private readings i start off with doing their birth chart because it gives the full picture all right and you can't read the birth chart without the rising you got to know i mean anyway i'm not even i already told you i talked too much so let's go ahead and get started with your reading cancer this is going to be a week this is gonna be a week wow let's get started you did get the eight of wands all right you did get the eight of wands in your past though so the eight of wands listen what do you see about this card that's different from every other card in tarot? You will see that there's no symbol, there's no object, there's no figure. This is literally eight wands speeding through the air. It means things have been moving really fast for you, Cancer. All right? Things have been moving really fast. All right? Wands, power, passions, ideas, even enterprise, work, career, side hustles, whatnot. Boom. All right? Brought you here, though to the nine of swords so when things move fast for you it could have been almost overwhelming all right and it could have been a lot of different things okay because that's eight ones there remember that's eight ones and it's very active sorry i had to like get a little bit more comfortable here but you did get the nine of swords so Listen, you pull this in the heart of your spread, and this is sort of like the headline news. This is kind of like the theme of the week, right? And so as you can see, there's this young man, his face covered in his hand, sitting up in bed, all right? So what does that mean, Cancer, this week? It means that there's probably something that has been affected you emotionally, all right? Now here's the thing, Cancer. He's clearly not happy. Is he grieving? Did someone do something bad to him? 
Did he do something bad to someone else? Is he remorseful? We don't know. That's up to you. That's that's for you to decide. Something could have affected you. All right. Something could have affected you or uh, will affect. Sorry, will affect you this week where you may. Uh, it is so immense that you literally lose sleep over it. Okay. Now here's the good news, though. Okay. You see that a the comforter. All right. He finds a lot of comfort in the comforter for obvious reasons okay so that's the thing you can see some great astrological symbols there you can see the roses there is comfort in the comforter play on words go with it listen other thing is it's showing that once you get out of this you'll be fine there's comfort there too okay so what I want you to do, because you know I talk about energy a lot. You know I do this, okay? I'm a huge nerd, all right? Quantum physics, magical thing. We're all made of energy. We evolve, vibrate at a certain frequency. I mean, Albert Einstein himself said we're all made of energy. Uh, Nikolai Tesla himself said we're all, everything is made of energy down to the molecular level. I mean, this is not conjecture. This is not my opinion. This is fact. This is physics, okay? When you go to bed at night, I don't want you to think of negative thoughts. I want you to think of positive thoughts, okay? Now, I know that's easier said than done, and I know it sounds cheesy, but when you see those movies or those TV shows, when people go to bed and they're just like, I'm great, I'm beautiful, I'm, you know, I, I'm successful, it's because it works. I mean, there's a part of our brain, like when we go to bed, there's we're, are, we enter uh, theta mode, right? And listen, again, I talk way too much, and I know my readings go to like up to like 30 minutes. Uh, just Google it, okay? Just go to bed with positive thoughts. It will help you, all right? There's a lot of, I mean, this affects your mental health, all right? So we want to bring our energy levels high. That is all I am saying, okay? All I am saying is to bring our energy levels high. We want to have those moments of, you know, just our oxytocin levels triggered, okay? You know, that is the love hormone, right? But it's that feeling of like, even a hug does that, right? That's where we want to be, okay? Our greatest powers are our emotions, okay, Cancer? I know y'all are water signs, I know y'all are emotional, and I know you know this. Our greatest powers are our emotions it is why we are human beings and not robots all right so i want you to it's okay to be emotional bring it to a positive level okay so what i want you to do now you did get the ace of wands in your challenge area challenging that area challenging it so there could have been something that happened recently with your career all right it could have been a fight it could have that's you know a word that's coming through my head uh but it could also be honestly a disconnect <sighs> how do i say this where is your passion where is your inspiration i want you to think about that cancer okay i don't want you to be if you know i'm getting a message that some cancers are on autopilot okay I want you to think for yourself and I want you to feel that passion and I want you to feel that inspiration and that motivation, the Ace of Wands, this is ushering a new change, okay? This is literally like, look, he's giving a thumbs up. I mean, come on, this is new change, new opportunity coming in from the hand of God himself, but it's coming in your challenge area. Challenge the Nine of Swords, okay? So once we get into a positive state, things will be a lot better for us but it could be that maybe you hop something did happen that made you lose that passion that made you lose that joy that ha that gave you that disconnect all right so spend some time thinking about that cancer this week all right please do that i've you know it would make me feel better <laughs> it'll make me feel better all right so here's the other thing you do have the three of pentacles in your crown so uh You'll be thinking about uh, working with others, okay? You'll be thinking about working with others, and that's good for you. I want that for you, big time. Cancer, big time, all right? Now, you can see the stone mason here. 
consulting with the architects. He can't pull, build that cathedral without the architects and vice versa. Teamwork makes the dream work, and you know that. That is going through your head right now. But the other thing, and you know, I'm getting the message that a lot of cancers already know this. Listen, I already talked about oxytocin levels. Now, bonding brings that, okay? Bonding with others, all right? Now, I've talked about this in my past readings. Listen, we can go way back to the caveman days. Back in the day, we hunted in packs. We ate lunch in packs. We slept in packs. There was never an I. It was always we, okay? Connecting with others, bonding is a human condition, okay? I want you to connect with others, okay? You want to do it anyway. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. You did get the Ace of Cups in your crown. Or, I'm sorry, in your root, okay? This is all about not even emotional fulfillment, but pure joy to a whole other level, all right? Transcendent, okay? This is like that moment where... Think about cancer. Okay, I want you to do something. I want you to think about that one thing in your life. Think about that one thing in your life where you were so overjoyed it brought you to tears. Okay, you got it? Can you think of that moment? I want you to have that moment this week, okay? I want you to have that moment this week, okay? And I I, I think it's going to... You're, you're going to have to work with people and you're going to have to find that passion, okay? You want, you're going to have to find that inspiration. You're going to find... Uh, just that will to to continue all right now your future you got the hanged man okay this is good you couldn't have asked for a better card and a better placement this is really good all right cancer now the hanged man as you can tell he's being hanged upside down in the form of a cross now this is not new in religious texts this happens in a lot of different religious texts this is very symbolic very uh spiritual energy attached to it but all it's saying is this came in your future area so all it's saying is that there are certain patterns and certain cycles and certain things that we do where we hit dead ends where we hit roadblocks they don't work for us anymore okay that's why we have to look at things in a new perspective that is why the man is hanging upside down look at the halo around his head look at the smile on his face nobody put himself there he put himself there to get that new perspective okay you're gonna have to surrender something okay this is all about sacrifice all right this is coming up in your future there's something you're gonna have to let go that's not serving you all right that's gonna help that's gonna help a lot all right and i think it's gonna help you find that inspiration again and i think that you know i'm getting a message a lot of cancers already know this and that is part of the problem. And that is something that maybe for some of y'all keeping y'all up at night because you know you're going to have to let it go, okay? You know you're going to have to let it go and it may be, you know, a relationship that's not working. It's just monotonous, like not just working out. Uh, it could be a boss, a teacher. It could be, you know, there's a lot of things, but at the end of the day, remember, that's up to you to decide, Cancer. You're the one in the bed, all right? So, Cancer, let's get to your staff. I'm very, very curious as to what is going on for you, Cancer. You're good, okay, Cancer? You're good. Now, you did get the Seven of Cups, okay? So, some of y'all are at a crossroads. Not going to lie. Some of y'all are maybe questioning a lot about where you are in your life, where you want to go moving forward, uh, not only in career, relationships, family, home, personal development, a lot of different things, okay? Love. There's a lot of things here. Now, remember, cups are all about emotions. Now, you can see the universe offering this young man seven cups, okay? I don't... We don't like it when a person's back is turned to us like so all right but the bigger thing here cancer is that you need to know what you want you need to know what you want okay there's an array of things being offered to you 
You have to be careful too, not all of them are great. You can see a snake coming out of one, a dragon coming out of the other. What do you want, Cancer? Ask yourself that this week. What's going to bring you joy? What's going to make you happy? What's going to make you feel fulfilled? All right? You did get the Ace of Cups. Remember that. In the root of your spread. Think of that moment that brought you so much joy. Now, if you do get a lot of opportunities come up, be very careful. All right? I told you earlier, a lot of oppositions and squares. In fact, the same day of the new moon in Virgo, Mercury is opposing Neptune. So please don't sign any contracts that day. Please don't sign any contracts. Um, but listen, you also got the Five of Cups. Okay? So listen. I need you to look up cancer okay i need you to look up i need you to remember what i said about the energy levels okay positive energy all right this is a card of loss this is a card of grief there could be something that uh you may something may happen where it's really challenging for you all right so much that you may lose something you may be sorrowful. Is that a word? Sorrowful? You may have sorrow over something. Uh, even grieving. Something could happen. Okay? But you're so focused. You can't let it go. You can't, you can't get past it. Alright? You see there's two full cups behind you, but you're so focused on this. We need to let it go. We need to look up. Okay? We can't look back. We gotta look forward. Okay? It's the only way we'll cross that bridge. Okay? Over the river over the river of life into the promised land all right so i want you to think about that okay there could be something that does happen and you know it looks like it might be someone that's cheating on you all right it could be someone that's cheating on you it could be someone that's lying to you it could be something that's doing something very underhanded all right so that's something that we're gonna have to confront all right this has come up in your external factors area all right now it could be you as well not uh I'm not saying that you're going to lie, cheat, or steal, but you may uh, be in a situation where there's some truth that you have to confront, okay? Maybe even personal truth, and you're dodging it, and you're evading it, all right? But at the end of the day, it really could be someone else, and that's going to be what it is, all right? The good news is, clarified with the page of wands, I call him the dreamer. We love the dreamer. I love that little feather in his cap. Oh, he's so fashionable, right? Such a fashionable person, but... This is the page, the newbie, right? Still in the royal court. He has the wand, all right? Look how compelled he is by it. Once you get past all this, look at that. You have this opportunity for this bright new future, okay? You see that barren landscape? He's got the potential to make it all grow, to make it verdant, to make it tropical to make it beautiful i've run out of words but you get where i'm going right now you did get the empress okay uh i we love the empress okay we love the empress she's cool she is huge 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 card of abundance some cancers you want to have a kid okay you want to have a kid you want to start a family you want to get engaged uh, this is a card of abundance and this is a card of fertility this is I mean she's preggers for sure but listen if you're not here for that this is also career related all right this is life related this is everything related this is major arcana energy all right this is a uh, big card of Venus you can see the symbol of Venus all over her Venus is the power or the planet of love attraction money the things that we desire right but also you see the symbol of Venus and the stone, uh, the heart-shaped stone right there, protection. You're looking for that. Now, the reason why I say you're good, you got the world in your final outcome card. Your final outcome area, you got the world, okay? You can see this is the, the end of the chapter, okay? You're ending a chapter in your life, all right? A major chapter because this is a major arcana. This is the last card 
in the major arcanas. You've come full circle, all right? Time to start this new cycle, all right? But this is a lot of victory with the end of it, okay? You do see that she, uh, first of all, has the two batons that we start off with the magician, all right? He had a magician's baton. Secondly, you see the laurel wreath. I mean, victory, success. You see the four fixed signs in the corners of the universe here. A lot of stability, all right? So, Cancer. We're entering a new phase, but we want to enter that new phase, this new life cycle. Proud of ourselves, happy with ourselves, happy with our accomplishments, and with every great intention, okay? Great intention. We want that, all right? So, Cancer, looks like it might be, you know, uh, an emotional week for sure, but uh, it looks like you will have uh this moment of clarity you're you're gonna have to surrender something it might be hard for you to surrender it okay but there's gonna be a lot of truth exposed this week for you all right clear as day here all right let's just get that clear clear as day but page of wands after all of that the opportunity for this new future new bright future a new cycle in life all right be around people all right, that's all I ask. Be around people right now, all right? Cancer, I love you. I love you so much. I really genuinely do, all right? So thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.